Hi everybody, here I have got a PowerPoint slide with an example of a worded problem. You have been given this same one, I think, on your math slide, so we'll go through it together. I just wanted to show you how or rejog your memory on how to apply the cubes steps if you are using them. Remember in maths, lots of you will be looking at this and going, oh, this is simple, I can do this. But remember in maths, we always start with an easy example, which then once we've got the hang of whatever the skill is that we're learning, we then move on to more complicated examples. So yes, this is an easy one for demonstration and modelling purposes. I'm just going to grab the pen tool down the bottom here if I can find it. Here it is. And I will, oops, where is it? I will just underline certain things as I'm talking about them. And part of cubes asks you to do these sorts of things, asks you to circle things, underline things, box things, that type of thing. So the first step of cubes says circle the important numbers. So with my pen or pencil or drawing tool, whatever you're using, I'm going to circle the important numbers and here it is 86 and 79. There's the first step done. The next step in cubes is asking us, the you, to underline the question. I could underline the whole thing but that's not going to give me any more information or clear things up for me. I'm going to underline the bit that is actually where the part is that's actually asking me for an answer. And here it is here. What is the total amount of games played that were played? Underlined. The next part of cubes, the B, is asking us to draw a box around any maths action games. Well, uh, action words. So our action word here for me will be the total amount because that's going to require me to use one of the operations or a maths action. E is then asking you to think about the steps that you're going to take. What are you going to do first? What are you going to do second? And what are you going to do third? So here's my one, here's my two, and here's my three. <laughs> I may not need three steps. I may get to the answer in two steps. Three is just an example. It might take you more. Then the last part, the most important part, the solve and this bit, the check, because I know that that's one part in maths that people often skip. So now I need to go back and show my workings. You must always do this because it gives us an insight into how you're thinking. So. Your workings may be you drawing pictures, writing sentences, putting dots on the page. For me today, it's going to be writing an algorithm or a sum because Erin has played 86 games and Carla has played 79 games. How many all together? It's a simple addition and look, the clue was up here as well. I think I've taken them off the slides that I've given you. So I'm going to write down the sum that will get me the answer. It will be 86 plus, because I'm adding them, the sum of 79. If I can add these in my head by using split strategy or whatever it may be, then that's fine. If I need to go and get a calculator, then that's okay as well. But for double digit numbers, we should be able to start adding them ourselves. So uh, if I can't add these in my head, I then have to rewrite this in a vertical fashion so that I can add them. So I'm going to put my 86 and then my plus and then my 79 underneath and I'm going to add them in a vertical fashion. Six and nine is 15. Oh, I can do doubles with the next set of numbers because seven and one is eight, and then double eight is 16. 
So I get the three digit number of 165. I cannot just leave it like that though. I must go back and check that I'm actually answering the question. Maybe I have to add units or um, a small sentence at the end to say how many games were played or whatever the question is asking you. So go back and check because that is the last step of our cubes. You're using your checking mechanisms to go back and make sure that you've done everything that's been asked of you. So step three, I'm going to then take the 165 and I could write it in a sentence. I could write the total amount of games played was 165 or I can write 165 games played. I don't mind how you do it, but you must put the units for this answer to make sense. Sorry, it's taken me so long to manipulate my mouse. Games played. And there we have it. This is what showing your workings means. This is what you are expected to do. I've got some more practice problems for you to work through and this is the type of thing you need to do. Okay, see you later.